Ladies and gentlemen, the Shred Gaming Center Come video. Let us further discuss the Steam operating system and the Steam machines. The great news is the Valve operating system is going to be available on Friday, at least a beta. Now, the first prototype Steam machines are already rolling off the production lines. They're already being created, and there's going to be 300 beta testers who are lucky enough to have a copy of the machine. Unfortunately, it is for the United States only. Now, Valve have actually explained this, or should I say one of the spokespersons at Valve have explained this. His name is Greg Kuma, and he has said that it's not actually the original plan, and it means they can't collect beta feedback from Steam customers worldwide, which is unfortunate. All things considered, we're sure it's the right decisions because the alternative was to delay the whole beta beyond the point where we'd be able to incorporate any of the feedback into the 2014 products. So, I suppose that's just how it's gone, unfortunately. Um, not much we could say about it. I'm sure Valve have tried their best. Meanwhile, let's actually speak about the Steam operating system. Now, the Steam operating system has, I imagine, been not only in the works for a while, but I imagine that there are multiple reasons that Valve are creating it. Valve have actually mentioned, ever since uh, Vista's exclusivity with DX10, uh, the you know they've been increasingly dissatisfied i'm sorry if i can get the words out with windows as a whole and indeed this has actually been culminated in the gabe newell uh, who is of course the founder of valve actually has called windows 8 a catastrophe especially its initial release so what they've decided to do is go with an open source gnu slash linux base and pretty much develop Steam OS as a premise for the living room. Now, obviously, Steam, the base version, already does have the big picture mode. But as I mentioned, it's going to be launched as a beta, the whole full Steam OS, on Friday. Now, the beta and as well as the full version are going to be completely and utterly free. So you don't have to pay a penny for the operating system, which is fantastic if all you're doing is playing games. And there has been a comment on this. Steam OS will be a available for the prototype hardware ship for when the prototype hardware ships. It will be downloadable by individual users as well as commercial OEMs. But unless you're intrepid the next hacker already, we're going to recommend that you wait until later in 2014 to try it out. So this obviously means that Right now, the operating system is fairly raw. A lot of the features haven't been implemented. Therefore, you're probably going to have to use quite a lot of few command lines, and therefore, it's not going to be good for a lot of users who aren't that familiar with the um, Linux workflow. Let's use that. Now, I personally am going to be trying it out, most likely on a virtual box in the next couple of days when it's available, so you guys can check that out if you don't fancy downloading a large um, file. So I'll, of course, record that and uh, let you guys have a look. I'll play around with it a little bit. Meanwhile, Digital Storm have actually teased that they're going to be releasing a high-end Steam machine, and this is going to be really powerful. This is going to be unveiled in the Consumer Electronics Show, also known to its friends and buddies as CES, and that, of course, is being held in January next year. Um, this system is going to be aimed at very high-end users. It's going to actually feature things such as liquid cooling as well as a GeForce GTX Titan inside the system. And yes, the system, of course, will be operating using the Steam OS, but also, it's going to feature a dual bundled copy of Microsoft's Windows. They haven't given an exact pricing right now. Uh, obviously, it will depend on exactly how you decide to customize your rig. But it's going to cost about $1,500. So that's about 900 Great British Pounds, obviously excluding taxes. Once again, I'd just like to reiterate that that is one of the highest end machines. And that's obviously targeted at people who want to run games and... 1080p or higher with ludicrous frame rates. So, where does this actually leave us in terms of PC gaming? Well, not that much is going to be changing for a while. Games developers are definitely becoming more intimate and more familiar. Obviously, Valve have also joined the uh, Linux Foundation, which of course are a collective group of companies with the inter interests of promoting 
Well, Linux as a whole, basically. The problem, of course, right now for gamers is, and games developers, is that Linux is in this chicken and egg situation. There's not enough games developers who are really promoting Linux for most gamers to jump on it. And contrary, you've also got the well opposite problem. So this is very similar, of course, to what Nintendo are experiencing for the Wii U. For example, a lot of gamers are saying, well, what's the point of buying the Wii U? There's not enough games on it. Meanwhile, games developers are saying, well, what's the point in developing for the Wii U when there's not enough people going to buy our games? So Valve and other companies, obviously, Valve are a silver member in the Linux Foundation. There are others. There are companies such as Oracle and Dell. Some of these guys are in it because of the server environments, which, of course, Linux is well known for. Uh, that's not to say that Linux is exclusive in servers. Obviously, um, Microsoft really pushed Azure as well as their own Windows-based technologies. You can certainly get Linux on servers with Azure, but um, Microsoft do push uh, their Windows-based 2012 servers, for example. But Linux is slowly starting to get a foothold, so I guess we're just going to have to see how uh, complete the beta version of the Steam OS is. I have a feeling that for many people it's not going to be the operating system that you're going to want to use as your main. I would imagine for many it would be like a virtual box type of affair or maybe uh, install it on a second partition which could also be a good option. Obviously not all games are going to support it yet but there are going to increase the amount as better compilers and debuggers and so on are being released for Linux which is one of the primary purposes uh, that Valve have actually joined the, the Linux Foundation. They're trying to push in to improve this. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.